हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द कोर्स 5G जी आर एफ प्लानिंग एंड डिज़ाइन दिस इज़ अ कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव कोर्स अबाउट द 5G जी आर एफ प्लानिंग एंड इन दिस कोर्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डिफरेंट 5G जी आर एफ बैंड दैट आर यूज टू कैटर फॉर डिफरेंट कवरेज रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट वॉट आर द पॉपुलर आर एफ बैंड दैट आर करेंटली बींग यूज फॉर द फाइव जी डिप्लॉयमेंट्स and whether they are used in the ftd or the tdd modes and what are the pros and cons of using these modes and then we are going to discuss the impact of the frequency of an rf band on the size of the cell and also what is its impact on the capacity and the latency in the 5g network and then we are going to explore the relationship of the 5g numerologies with the size of the cell then we will go to the first step of the 5g rf planning which is the radio access network dimensioning and the radio access network dimensioning consists of coverage dimensioning and the capacity dimensioning in the coverage dimensioning we are going to discuss the different propagation path loss models you have the 3 gpp models you have the okumara hata model etc and then we are going to discuss the link budget equation and what are the different gains losses and margins that affect the link budget equation and then how using this link budget equation we calculate the maximum allowable path loss and then using the maximum allowable path loss and propagation model we calculate the cell radius and from cell radius we can calculate the required number of cells for the 5g deployment and in the capacity dimensioning we calculate the required number of cells using the capacity requirements and then we are going to discuss the model tuning procedure for the propagation model in which the propagation model is corrected according to the area in which we are using this model so we are going to discuss that what is the standard propagation model equation and what is the setup or the equipment that is used in the model tuning procedure and how the drive test is done in order to obtain the measurements from the field and then using these measurements how do we tune the parameters of the model and then we go to the next step which is the nominal planning which is used for the detailed coverage and the capacity planning and this step is normally done using an rf planning tool but in this course we do not have an rf planning tool due to the intellectual property constraints however we are going to discuss that how any rf planning tool works what are the inputs that are given to an rf planning tool like what are the 3d electronic maps what are the configuration parameters what are the traffic models and the traffic maps that are given as an input to the rf planning tool and then we are going to discuss the 3d ray tracing model which is used for the 5g mimo planning with beam forming and then we are going to discuss the simulation principles of the rf planning tool like what are the static simulations and the monte carlo simulations how these simulations are carried out and what are the outputs of these simulations the output of these simulations is the detailed coverage and the capacity plans and then we are going to discuss that how the beam planning and the antenna down tilt planning is done in the 5g and after that we will go to the detailed parameter planning like how physical cell ids of the cells are planned in a 5g network and how the physical random access channels that are used in different cells are planned 